Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. I put some exercises out on um, online to give students or people who are interested in programming in the assembly language uh, an opportunity to practice some coding before they actually start working on a project. Here is the exercise I, I'm trying to get you to work is write a small program that asks the user to input a number between 0 and 100 and continue to query the user for the number until uh, you get a good one. Uh, then output the number on a new line. Now, I'm going to produce this video for it, but I'm going to caution you, don't be lazy. Write the code yourself, or try to write the code yourself. Just don't copy what I've done, or just don't look at it and um, feel like just understanding it is good enough. It requires practice. Programming requires practice. It requires quite a bit of it. I personally have written this program now about four or five times, and I've gotten very good at it. All right, well, let's continue. I'm using um, a PC. I'm using Notepad to write the programs in and of course QT SPIM to uh, uh, run the program. So let's uh, write the program. I'll start here and I'm going to do dot data first and I've got three messages that I'm going to produce. Message one uh, will be the query for the number itself. Please enter a number between 0 and 100. And you'll notice I put a colon and a little space, so there's some separation between the the uh, question that I ask and then the number I enter in. Uh, message two will be our error message, and you can name them anything you want. I just use message one, two, three, and four, and so on and so forth. Invalid number, please re-enter. Okay, and then message three will be our success. Okay, and I'm going to do a, a backslash end and force it to go to the next line. Uh, this is a C C++ style carriage return that's uh, used in MIPS assembly two, and it causes it to go to the next line. It's just a good habit to get into. I say good number. It is, and then I'm going to print it out. So there are messages. One other thing I do before I start writing my code is I usually put in an align to. This is uh, uh, forces uh, the program to be on a forward boundary, which is always a good thing. So we come up with text and dot global main main. That starts our program. And now the first thing I'm going to do is print out the message and I'm going to test it. Again, I practice a thing called cab tab, which is code a bit, test a bit. I write a little bit of code and I test it. So load immediate, dollar sign V04. You'll get used to doing this when it says uh, tell syscall to print out a string. Load address into A0, the message 1. And this is a tell syscall which string to print, and then print the string. These are the same comments I write whenever I write these three lines of code. I'm going to write them again. And then we want to end our program, which is jump register RA. Okay, stop the program. Let us save this. And we'll reinitialize and load the file. We'll say it here. And we will run it. And here is our program. I've got it over to the left. See that again? All right, pretty good. <clears throat> so let's continue running our program. So we printed out the message. Now what we want to do is we want to read in a number. Now I know I'm going to do this a couple of times. I'm going to come back to this particular segment of code. So I'm going to put a label here. I'm going to say test. 
So I'm going to load immediate v0 with 5, which is uh, tell sys, syscall to read an integer. And then I'm actually going to read the integer. Okay. Okay. Now the integer goes into v0. So I've got to preserve that because I use V0 and A0 all the time. So I'm going to move into S1 the number. I'm going to say save the integer read in into S0. Okay, so there it is. So I've got it in there, and now I'm going to test it. Okay. I'm going to use a, a couple of different branch techniques here. One that assumes 0 is there and one without. So BLTZ is branch on less than zero, which means that it's going to test the register S1, and if S1 is less than zero, it's going to go to a, a place called uh, bad in, I call it. If less than zero, go to bad in. And right now, we'll put bad in uh, down here. Okay, and initially we're just going to stop the program. We're not going to write the code to do that just yet. We're going to test this first. All right, so if it's less than zero, it goes to bad end. Okay, uh, we're going to load immediate into a temporary register, or we call them 100. Okay, and then we're going to uh, branch on greater than BGT if S1 is greater than T1, in other words, if S1 is greater than 100, we also want to go to that same place. Okay, so if uh, greater than 100, go to bad in. Okay, uh, otherwise, we're just going to stop our program. We're, um, uh, uh, we're just going to end. I'm not going to write any more. I'm going to test this because I've written several lines of code here and I want to make sure it all works, make sure I've got no syntax error. So I'll save it and I'll go up here and I'll say file, reinitialize and load file, open, no errors. So let's just test it. And again, we're, we're, we're not going to want to enter in any bad numbers or cause a problem. So we're going to say run continue and we enter in a number, let's say 45. And our program stops. So things look okay right now. We're not entirely sure it's really good. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the message that says that we've got a good number. We want to know that. All right. So if we make it past these two tests, the branch on less than and branch on greater than, if we're at the place where the curse is at right now, we know that we've got a good number. So we can go ahead and print that message out. We can say load immediate into V04 load address into A0, the good message, which is message 3, syscall, and we also want to print out the um, the value of the number we read, we want to read in. Uh, that is actually uh, 1, so we're going to tell, tell syscall to print an integer. Move, we're going to say move into A0, S1, we're going to move the Move the integer to a zero, and we're going to say syscall, and we're going to stop the program. Okay. Now, again, that's enough code. Let's save that. All right. No syntax errors. That's good. We're going to run it. And again, what we're going to do is we're going to input a good number. And we'll say 45. Oh, no, now we've got an error. See now that it's continuing to blink, blink, blink right there. It tells us we got an error. So let's go find out what it is. Let's stop it. And let's go back and look at our code. And you may be able to find it uh, uh, already. Okay, here's the error if you haven't found it. Save the integer. The integer is actually right on V0. So I was moving the wrong thing into S1, so it got the bad number. All right, let's do this again. This is why you practice writing the code. File, reinitialize, and load the file. Open. And we're going to...
going to run it and we're going to bring our console back over here and we're going to turn in 55 that says ah good number it is 55 very good probably be a good idea to test a few more to make sure that 0 and 100 work and uh, a few others in between but uh, I've done this enough now that I know it does work so we've gotten the good portion of the code to work the the portion of the code that validates a good number is there now the only thing we have left to do is to validate the bad number okay and here we have something fairly simple to do we just want to print out a message and then go back and read the number in that's just easy to do. We're going to load immediate v0 the message which is in this case is message 2 okay we're going to load the address oops 4 we're going to load the address message four, uh, 2 into it and then we're going to do a syscall and once we've printed that message now we want to go back and we want to read in the number again well that's up to test so let's just say a jump to test. So what happens here is when we read a bad number, okay, either below zero or greater than 100, what it's going to do is it's going to branch control down to this location right here. It will print out a message and then what it will do is it will go back up to this location right here, read in the next number and check it. And it will continue to do that until it gets a good number. Let's save that. Uh, reinitialize and load file and then we're going to run it all right so let's just test a few I could put in negative two it's a bad number okay uh, negative five okay 101 okay 102 okay 76 ah that's a good number it is 76 so a very clean example on how to validate a number within a range of values and in integers. Hope this helped you out. Please try this yourself. Write it a couple times. Make sure that uh, you've got that kind of proficiency before you go into the next uh, exercise, which I'll write here in a minute. Hope this helped you. Look forward to doing the next one.